Hello, it's Rob from Fountain Pen Journey. Some people, uh, previous uh, previously I um, made a video about a mystery fountain pen unboxing from India, which was the Ranga handmade pen that I, uh, that I love at the moment. Um, and I asked if people were interested in these sort of pen mail videos. Personally, I, I don't generally watch them, but one of my uh, viewers commented, and it, he actually gave me a, or she gave me a very, very good point. If you see these sort of videos, they're quite useful in the fact that you know what pens are coming onto the market. I mean, I like Chinese fountain pens. Often they tend to come out for a fairly limited time, certain models. And by watching the pen mail videos, you tend to get a bit of a heads up that there's a new pen from China come out. Um... So I thought, actually, yeah, it's a really good idea. Um, so I'm going to talk about these pens that came today. But what I want to do is just do pen mail videos because some people do like seeing things like vintage pens being unboxed, things like that. So hopefully you'll find this interesting. Um, I will be eventually reviewing these pens. Um, so watch this space, hit the subscribe button down there, hit the bell, and you'll be notified when the new videos get uploaded. Thanks very much. So, um, we've got a few pens here. Let's start off with... Uh, start off with this package here. This was an eBay auction um, from the UK. So, this was an absolute bargain, I believe, when I got it. So wrapped up, put a bubble wrap. Oof. Let's see what we got in here. We have a Lamy Safari. I love the Lamy Safari. I know it's one of those pens that some people love, some people hate, but as it happens, I just think it's a great, great pen. Um, this one, as you can see, it's quite a bright coloured plastic pen. Um, this is the uh, neon yellow colour. Now this was a special edition from Lamy in 2013. So these pens aren't available anymore from Lamy, but um, I thought, well, you know, I collect the uh, Lamy Safaris and I couldn't pass up the opportunity to get one of these. So very, very nice. So usual Lamy triangular grip, Lamy nib. Um, Medium nib on uh, this pen, steel nib, unscrew it, yeah, standard fare from Lamy. The pen, I believe, is used, um, and it was listed as being in um, okay condition. Now, to be absolutely honest, looking at this pen, I mean, there's a few minor scoffs, marks, no, not really scuffs, that just might be a mark on there, that might just rub off easily with a bit of tissue, there are some minor scratches, but hey, you know, I didn't pay a lot for this pen, it was a bargain, um, there are some marks just there on the cap, so yeah, I mean it's, it's you know, you, you, you're buying second hand pens, you're always going to expect something unless it's new old stock, a minting box or something like that. You you can expect a few issues, potentially. I'm perfectly happy because I paid very little money for a special edition pen, which I'm happy with, really pleased. So, the seller has also included a um, Lamy cartridge, and this is obviously um, green, Lamy green. Um, so, yeah, yeah, very good, happy with that. Let's see what else we have. Now, what I've done, I've opened this one up. I always like to have a quick check of the contents. Um, I have poked in here a pen that I bought from eBay from Roscoe's Pens. There we go, he's included a uh, little business card. He has a uh, seller, uh, a seller's shop, no, he has a shop on eBay here in the UK. Um, and there you can see his Facebook page and the eBay shop address. So it's Roscoe's underscore pens underscore 2015. Um, I will state that if you do find him on Facebook, Roscoe's underscore pens underscore 2015, 
I'm, I keep meaning to comment, uh, send him a message because um, he often puts links up saying bids starting today, all sorts of new pens, blah blah blah. Um, follow the eBay link in my Facebook um, bio, Facebook page. And it takes you through to, I don't know, it takes you through to a search for Roscoe's Pens 2015 and it doesn't come up with his shop. So I keep meaning to, um, to send him a message and say, hey, you know, just heads up. Um, your links aren't quite working. Um, we're all fallible. I am, certainly. Um, and there we go. Ross Cooper, that's the guy's name. Fencing pens, ballpoints and pencils. Um, he's got his address on there because obviously he's a seller and all that so let's get that off and out of the way and slide this out of is this going to slide out yeah perfect so there we go um i thought this was an unusual pen for me it's not one that I have actually seen before. I mean, I've been um, buying, collecting, using Jin Hao fountain pens since I started this fountain pen journey uh, way back in 2017. And this pen I haven't come across before. It's a Jin Hao number 15. So, yep, absolutely new to me. Um, seeing this pen in the flesh is it's quite interesting. I'll just get a bit bit of paper. So we've got a white background so we can actually see the shape of this pen a bit better. There we go. So, there we go. stay. There we go. It's tapered. It actually, well, tapered. It actually flares out toward towards the end of each finial of the cap and the barrel. I've never come across that in a um, in a Jin Hao fountain pen. This area here, this, I don't know whether it's going to be the grip or no. No, section is black plastic. Um, it's a little bit short and then you've got a bit of a step up to this, I don't know what, what you call it, it's actually part of the barrel. I suppose you could use that as the uh, section to grip onto, but a little bit high for me. I'd probably hold it right down here. Um, does it post? Absolutely not. Oh, hang on, wait a minute. Oh, it does. That's interesting. Right, okay. There's something I wasn't expecting. So, very interesting. The cap, actually, there's a recess where the finial is there and the cap edges it's a metal pen by the way black lacquered metal pen that actually goes in there not very deeply it just sort of kind of pushes in about a millimetre or so there we go. that's actually really really secure that's a surprise and actually that looks pretty impressive I like this design this is really really interesting so that was a bargain um, buy from eBay, from Roscoe's Pens, because it was an auction. Uh, I think the starting bid was something like 99 pence. So, not bad at all. Push the clip and cap on, and we've got a very highly reflective mirrored... There we go, you can see the top of my head over the camera. Quite a mirrored um, finial on the end of the cap clip isn't the usual Jin Hao clip it's quite stiff yeah I've, I've not come across this sort of pen before this this is really really quite nice I'll just have a look see if we've got any obvious branding because Jin Hao usually put some sort of branding on their pens but there's nothing at all put the cap there no absolutely no branding whatsoever um there we go. It's got a fine nib, steel nib, fine steel nib. I'd say that that is semi-hooded. That's quite an interesting little um, thing. Black plastic feed. 
obviously this will be an interesting pen review for me and it comes with a converter and it's the um, slidey converter excuse my uh, dog barking away there I'll just uh, push him back into the room grumbling about dogs going past so um as for the length let's have a look actually that's quite a nice length on its own it's, it's actually quite a comfortable pen to hold this uh, this fits well in the hand come on focus there we go. yeah fits well in the hand um post it let's have a look see what it's like um wow it's quite long um it's actually not that uncomfortable I think I think the novelty of being able to post the cap that way, um, I may well even uh, use this pen posted. It's added a little bit of back weight, but that is actually not too bad at all. It's a bit stiff. I'm not sure how um, how the edge of the cap is going to fare because I'm not sure which part of the cap is friction fitting into this. Uh, circular recess on top of the uh, finial of the barrel um, these black lacquered finishes I mean I, I have had these uh, on Jin Hao pens before and they do sometimes chip so I might have to be a little bit careful with that so that's something quite nice right next package from China this is from Pan Yu. I'm not even going to try and Guangzhou, China. These are quite popular at the moment. They've been around for a while. Um, I shall unwrap them in a moment. I haven't really bothered with the... Um, I've seen them reviewed. haven't really bothered with them. And the reason being is... You know, they're going for, I don't know, around £12 on eBay from China. And it didn't interest me enough. However, I came across a listing which had these for a couple of pounds each. And I thought, well, for £2, this is an ideal opportunity to purchase a filling system which I haven't had before in my fountain pen collection. Bearing in mind I've only been doing this a couple of years or so. So, these are all vacuum filler pens, and what are they? These are Wingsong pens. So, this is the Wingsong 2013, no, not 2013, <laughs> 3013, let's call it the 3013. And I was actually expecting quite a light pen. I've got a few um, Wingsong demonstrators, and they usually tend to be quite lightweight. I mean, just out of I've got a piston filler here, Wingsong uh, 3008. So, you know, it's it's not the highest quality materials, but it's a dirt cheap pen. Um, and I like them, they write well, very happy with it, hold loads of ink. This feels really, really quite weighty. The material is very, very solid. So, Wingsong 3013. dome to the cap with a flat bit, slightly angular clip which flares out to the base, there we go, model number engraved on the cap band 3013 and wing song in Chinese letters at the back, I believe that's what it is. So this is the brown version, We've got the purple version mainly because I, I really do like purple inks and there aren't that many purple fountain pens these are very nice purple they're all demonstrators so you can see exactly what's going on inside and here we go for those of you who really love your clear colorless transparent demonstrators there is a transparent colorless version um, this was actually listed as white, um, but obviously it's, it's, it's not white, it is 
completely transparent really really nice pen there's good facets on this cap that's that's really really quite lovely so first impressions of this pen are really positive i was expecting something akin to the um 3008 a little bit sort of well made but a little bit sort of plasticky on the cheap side cheaper materials i can understand why these pens are costing a lot more and i'm really satisfied with the price that i paid for these uh, these pens so screw off cap Ooh, these have all got fine nibs it's fine steel nibs Looks like a number six nib, so I'm guessing these are replay, replaceable. Um, nice to see a let the motorcycles go. Perhaps. Nice to see a colourless, transparent feed. That's really going to show off the ink. So you're going to get a lot of nice colours now. I haven't actually got any idea how these um, these. Vacuumatic, what is it? Not vacuumatic. Um, vacuum fillers operate. I believe this turns, and it should. Well, wow, it's taking quite a lot of turns. I need to really do need to um, to have a look at how these are. Ah, there we go. Right. So that has operated. That. So we've got. A, that's quite stiff. That. For my God. Yeah. Welcome to the city. <laughs> Don't even live in a city. <laughs> live in the country and this is what we have to put up with. So yeah. There we go. That is quite stiff. Um, I'm guessing it's going to give a really, really good seal, so there's no ink going to get past that single O-ring on the uh, on the piston. But I might be tempted to put a little bit of silicone grease in there just to uh, just to help it move. So piston goes up and down, and once it's out, how on earth does this thing work? I have absolutely no idea whatsoever. I'm going to have to do some research onto this because, quite honestly, <laughs> I haven't a clue what I'm doing. Um, this uh, this whole area here, I don't know whether it's machining oil that's left over or whether they've put some silicone grease on there, but there is a lot of um, oily, I'd say it's oily rather than greasy residue on there, so I might need to do a little bit careful cleaning. So, there's a transparent one. Purple, very nice, nice to see the coloured section matches the rest of the pen, transparent feed again, lovely, really, really, these feel really good quality, um, doesn't post, screw cap, that's always, always a nice thing if you've got a, uh, oof, this is stiff, what on earth, wow, there we go, that's not, uh, not exactly great, is it? screws come out where's that come from must be in there right well that's going to be a fiddly little job screwing that back in but doable so brown it's quite quite a nice sort of um smoky brown it's quite attractive it's not your general i don't know poo brown I'm not a brown person. Um, so, yeah, really pleased with these pens. I mean, okay, minor issue, but hey, I'm not complaining. It's fixable. Um, so, yeah, I do like these facets on the cap. That is quite, quite nice. So, lovely pens. Nice little fountain pen haul from, uh, from the interwebs. Where's my other pen gone? Over here. Let's grab that. Line them all up. So, yeah. Very, very pleased. Good value. Really cheap purchases. Very happy. So, thanks very much for watching. See you next time.